All right, today we're gonna be unboxing the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 pistol. Uh, this is a rather large box uh, for their pistol AR, so uh, after I go over the accessories, I'll, I'll just get the gun out itself. So first in the box is going to be a Magpul P-Mag. This is a Gen M2 magazine, and it has the new Magpul uh, green follower. You get a California Firearms warning card, your warranty registration card, the Smith & Wesson MP15 pistol manual. So this is a manual specific to the MP15 pistol. It's got red warning text, black and white actual photos. You're also gonna get four interchangeable palm swell grip inserts. So these are gonna be installed on the rear of the pistol grip. And two of them are going to have kind of, I guess, extended beaver tails right there and one is already installed on the gun itself. And you're also going to get a green lock. Let me get everything out of the way and then we'll go over the features of the pistol itself. All right, got the box out of the way. As always, we're gonna start off with some close-ups. So I guess you could say that this is somewhat of a new uh, release from Smith & Wesson. It's got a couple of additional features. Uh, including this muzzle device that they throw in here. So we'll start off with the barrel. So the barrel on here is going to be a 7.5 inch, 1 and in 7 twist with a half by 28 threaded muzzle. And it is going to include this, uh, they call it a blast diverter. So as you can see there, it's got some flow through channels. So it's really going to take the blast that you're going to get out of a seven and a half inch 5.56 barreled AR and uh, kind of divert it all forward rather than to the left and right of you or even behind you in some cases. The barrel is going to be constructed of 4140 steel and it's going to feature an armornite finish, which Smith & Wesson describes that as a hard coat nitride finish. So you can see that in there. It's going to feature a stainless steel gas tube and just a low profile gas block that's in place by two set screws in the bottom. The handguard is going to have M lock on the left and right as well as the bottom side. These channels on the side are more or less for heat mitigation and uh, weight savings. These are not going to be M lock here. On the top, you're going to have Picatinny rail section spanning all the way across the top with T markings right there. And the way that this is fastened to the barrel nut is going to be with three cross bolts and these two set screws here. And then it has two anti-rotation tabs on the left and right side. The receiver set, so the upper as well as the lower receiver, are going to be constructed of 7075 T6 aluminum with a hard coat anodized finish. And the finish on the handguard is also hard coat anodized. And the lower receiver is going to feature an integrated trigger guard. So this is all one piece right here in the lower. You're gonna have a slightly flared magazine well. All the other parts on the upper receiver to include the charging handle, forward assist, and your dust cover are just going to be standard mil spec parts that are black in color. The lower receiver is going to feature also mostly standard mil spec parts to include your safety, bolt catch bolt release, and your takedown and pivot pins, all standard mil spec parts. And the one thing that is different is going to be the trigger shoe. This is a flat face trigger shoe, but the weight is not reduced as far as the trigger pull. So I'll go ahead and show you that. So it's a st pretty standard mil spec weighted trigger and standard uh, reset. It is gonna come with Smith & Wesson's uh, pistol grip, very reminiscent of their M&P line of handguns with that removable back palm swell and grip texture. It's a very nice, kind of sandpapery grip texture. 
and it also has a hollow uh, inside with a lanyard loop right there on the back side. Going to the back, you can have a standard mill spec buffer tube, castle nut and end plate, and then it's going to feature SP Tacticals SBA3 pistol stabilizing brace. That's going to have QD on both sides, and then a Velcro and rubber strap on the back for mounting this to your arm. All right, that's pretty much it for the Smith & Wesson MP15 pistol. If you guys got any questions on this, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you for watching.